instability spills over in your service. And you get to the point where, and my, my wife said this before, why is it that you Christians, it's, it's y'all, it's not me. Why is it that as soon as you're going through, the first place you stop going is church? It, 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 why y'all get quiet? The mental instability spills over into your service. And because God isn't working the way I want him to work, I'm going to throw a tantrum and not show up. I'm going to get mad. I ain't singing in no choir. I did all that shouting last week, and he didn't work it out. I... Mental instability spills over into your attitude, spills over into your service. Now you want to punish God because he's not working the way you want him to work. One writer says that every human makes... 35,000 decisions a day. 35,000 decisions a day. And it, it, it starts with when your eyes open, am I even going to get up? Because truth of the matter is, I want to stay here. And I want to have a pity party. As a matter of fact, some people have been to the place that when they woke up, they just started crying. They woke up. They felt depressed because they didn't want to wake up. I, I, I battle every day. We battle every day in our mind. It's something about the vulnerability of sleep. That while I'm asleep, it seems like life resets. And everything that I mentally won and every battle that I mentally won the day before when I wake up the next day, all over again. I got to go through this all over every day. I got to tame my mind every day. I got to train my mind and I got to discipline myself. It's, it's a battle. And God says today he wants to heal you in your mind. Glory to his name. I, I need you to touch somebody and tell them he wants to heal your mind. Now, maybe this word ain't for everybody, but there's somebody I came to talk to today. God says he wants to heal your mind. He wants to heal your mind because God knows and the enemy knows that the chief battlefield is your mind if if the enemy can get into your thought life he can control your behavior every every battle that you face starts in your mind that's why temptation becomes overwhelming because it started in your mind before the act was committed it first started in your mind mind you you thought about it. it you went through the motions in your mind you went through the sequence in your mind I don't know why y'all quiet you went through it in your mind first that's why many times that act wasn't as good as the thought Because the enemy works through pretensions. The enemy works through imaginations. 2 Corinthians 10, the enemy works through speculations. He makes things bigger than they really are. To throw off your mind. There's a battle in your mind mind there's a battle in your mind and before I give you the antidote let me tell you something it's very hard to win the battle in your mind when you're feeding your flesh more than your spirit y'all not saying nothing to me in this Catholic church but every single day you are feeding your flesh 
how do you expect to defeat an enemy that you only fight on Sunday? But Monday through Sunday, you're feeding your flesh. What you scroll and look at is feeding your flesh. Uh, what you watch on TV is feeding your flesh. Uh, the gossip that you uh, put yourself in is feeding your flesh. The drama that you're a part of is feeding your flesh. You're feeding your flesh Monday through Sunday and then want God to fix everything you messed up in one day. How in the world are you back? Battling the same demons, the same struggles, the same strongholds for 15 years and come in here on Sunday and expect a 15 minute praise break to bring you out. The devil is alive. You got to learn how to feed your spirit man. You got to you got to feed your spirit man. Yes, that's, that's why and you don't like it. You don't like it, which is why many of you ignore it. Either you ignore it or you don't do it until the leader calls for a fast. Fasting has to do with food. Consecration has to do with your spiritual growth. And I'm trying to figure out the reason that fasting was implemented is so that you can control yourself. Discipline, self Discipline, And I say it all the time. How in the world are you going to tell hell no? When you can't even tell a cheeseburger no. If you can't control your natural appetite, how can you handle your spirit? This, you, you can't even turn down your plate. That's why that diet that you were supposed to start in the winter... It's still it's the summer now and you still saying next week because you haven't learned how to discipline yourself. It's, it's a battle in your mind and I, I have to control my thought life. I have to control my thinking and uh, many of you, many of you are sitting here today and there's some mind battles that you're dealing with, which is why you don't really resemble Christ. Because you got grudges that you're holding on to right now. Unforgiveness in your heart that you're harboring right now that God has told you to get rid of. <laughs> Oh, God. Can I, can I help you real quick? Uh, ain't no need of you talking to anybody else about what you're holding on to except for the person that you're holding it against. There's no other answer. The Bible says if you have a problem with your brother or sister, go to them. Not your pastor. Go to them. Not your brother or sister. Go to them. Fix it. Hit your neighbor and say, fix it. It's working on your mind. It's working on your mind. The text I want to bring to light today is Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Now, I need you to catch this because... One of the reasons why this is so hard to do is because this requires spiritual discipline. Oh, God. Now, it requires spiritual discipline. And you all, you all have to go with me real quick. And you got to put your pride aside real quick because you're going to have to agree with me that many of us have a problem trusting God. We have a problem because... We don't think it can be handled unless we handle it. Many of you are sitting in this room right now. You're fixers. You're managers. You always have to find the answer yourself. Um, many, I use the example of men. Men are, are most of the time fixers. 
And when you come to us with a problem, we may not respond right then. It's because we have already started in our mind trying to calculate how we're going to handle this particular situation, how we're going to fix it. We are fixers. The problem with that is you can't fix it. Okay, Y'all didn't want to hear that today, but I want to make sure that my mic is on and you hear me today. I need you to hit somebody and tell them you can't fix it. There are some problems happening in your life right now. There are some situations that you're dealing with and you have to understand you can't fix it. I know y'all don't like this word right here, but you have to understand what God is sending down your road today. God is saying you cannot fix it. That's why he says trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your being, with everything that's within you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. When it talks about heart, particularly in scripture, it's not talking about the organ that, that sends the flow of blood through your body. It's talking about the control center of your entire being. He says, trust the Lord with, all, with everything that's within you. You got to cast all your cares on him. Because he's the one that can fix it. He's the one that can handle it. Y'all ain't saying nothing because we would love to come to church, shout and dance and fix it. So are we really lying in God's presence when we shout and dance and say, I have faith. But you leave with your faith and say, I'm going to fix it. He says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Tell your neighbor with all your heart. And he says, and lean not. God, help us today. To your own understanding. If we serve a God, Leasia, if we serve a God, Who's omniscient and knows all things and knows everything and knows where your problem started, where the root of it is and how your problem is going to pan out. If we serve a God who knows all of this about your problem and you're trying to figure it out. Why would you bother him trying to come to a solution yourself? He says, trust him with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. You see, many times we try to fix our problems based on what we understand about life, about situations, about our experience. And God has said, no, don't lean to your own understanding. Oh, God, I know what you understand about why you didn't get that job, but don't lean to your own understanding. I know what you understand about how that relationship ended, but lean not to your own understanding I know what you understand about how this was supposed to pan out but lean not to your own understanding you got to put all your trust in God because if you lean to your own understanding you won't understand the past that he's getting ready to take you down and the process that he's getting ready to take you through to get you to where he's going to take you lean not to your own understanding Lean not to your own understanding. Forget about what you know. Trust what he's going to do. Hey, Lord, have mercy. I need you to lean on somebody and say, forget about what you know. And trust what he's going to do. I put all my trust in him. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Watch this. One word. From Oswald Chambers, he says, your mind is the greatest gift God has given to you and it ought to be devoted entirely to him. You should seek to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. This will be one of the greatest assets of your faith when a time of trial comes because your faith and the spirit of God work together yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy you got to learn to take every thought 
captive and make it obedient to the word of God. That's why that particular scripture is why the Lord challenged me today to talk about one thing that has been plaguing our minds uh, plaguing our spirits uh, he told me to talk about this one thing today and that thing is anxiety watch this look at look at some of the symptoms of anxiety panic fear uneasiness feelings of panic doom or danger sleep problems not being able to stay calm and still, cold, sweaty, numb, tingling hands and feet, shortness of breath, hyperventilation, heart palpitations, dry mouth, nausea, tense muscles, dizziness, thinking about a problem over and over again. Lord have mercy. Uh, now that, 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 one, that one grabbed me because uh, some of us even, watch this, even after we get out of a high service yeah. and God has snatched the problem and the thought of the problem away, we go and sit down and allow it to resurface. Yeah. And we think about it over and over. You ever had a headache and then all of a sudden the headache is gone? And here you are trying to say, where, where the headache, where was the, you're trying to resurface what you've already been delivered from. Anxiety, thinking about the problem over and over again and unable to stop, inability to concentrate. It's when it, it, it starts to mess up your ability to function throughout the day. You're walking around tense. You're walking around frustrated. You're walking around afraid and fearful. Anxiety begins to intensely and obsessively uh, causes you to avoid feared objects or places. Watch this. I was looking at this. It said the causes of anxiety, environmental stress. I, I got to go. Environmental stress. Because the truth of the matter is, some of us have dealt with anxiety from places we can't get away from. Like our job. Then some, some of us deal with environmental stress that causes anxiety because we put ourselves in the wrong environments. I just talked to you about atmospheres. And some of us have the wrong people in our space and in our life that cause anxiety. Cause us to stress. But you are so comfortable with having them in your life that you continue to give them passageway to bring you down. The other, one of the other causes of anxiety is brain chemistry. The brain communicates with itself by sending out chemical information from one neuron or nerve cell to another. Brain chemistry is the sum of all the chemical messaging that takes place in the brain, which allows it to carry out its daily functions, such as generating movement, speaking, thinking, listening, regulating the systems of the body, and countless others. In other words, uh, anxiety comes into your mind and begins to disrupt and interfere with the chemistry of your brain and how everything in your life was peaceful at one time because your brain had good chemistry. Anxiety comes in to frustrate the purpose of your mind. Oh God, you got to watch out for the enemy and what he will try to push into your mental capacity to frustrate your thought life. That's why the word of God says if there's anything pure, if there's anything just, if there's anything of good report, think on these things. You got to control your mind. Come here, Isaiah. Those who keep their mind stayed on him. He will keep them in perfect peace. I need you to grab somebody and say, let the Lord keep your mind. Lord have mercy you gotta let the Lord keep your mind Isaiah says those who keep their mind stayed on him you got to rebuke pride you gotta rebuke that fixer on the inside of you the other side is you gotta rebuke that crier 
that complainer because some of you the reason you are stuck in your mind is because you're always playing the victim everything in your life pushes you to a place of being a victim you never take responsibility for what you do and so many of us many of the battles that we're dealing with in our mind is because we put ourselves on the battlefield I'm preaching better than y'all respond there's a lot that we're going through mentally that we put ourselves in it was you you didn't pay it and that's why you're dealing with what you're dealing with you didn't let them go and that's why you're stuck in that situation it wasn't God it wasn't the devil it was you and here you are playing the victim and allowing the enemy to frustrate your mind I'm closing. Isaiah. Isaiah tells us to keep our mind stayed on Jesus. Now, how do we do that? We got to give our problems over to him. You sitting up all night long tossing and turning. Here you are. You're not binge watching. You just can't sleep. You're frustrated. You're mad about stuff that can't be fixed by you. You're frustrated because you can't find the answer to stuff you can't fix. That's why God says, Cast all, come here, First Peter, First Peter 5 and 7. He says, cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. Uh, one translation says, cast all your anxieties. <laughs> all right, I I'm closing. He says, cast all your anxieties. Now, if you replace cares with anxieties, he says, Cast all your anxieties upon me, for I will have anxiety for you. Oh, God. In other words, why do you have anxiety when you can't fix the problem? I'm not going to worry about something I can't fix. I'm not going to worry about something that I can't find the answer to. Truth of the matter is you already have the answer. The answer is in God. But you got to cast all your anxieties upon him and he will have anxiety for you. Cast all your depression upon him and he will handle depression. Cast all your stress upon him and he will handle your stress. I speak that God will stress out everything that's trying to stress you out. I speak peace over your mind. I speak peace over your spirit. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, I feel like I'm losing my mind, but I'm glad I made it to the sanctuary. I'm glad I made it to church today because God has given me the antidote. God has fixed the problem. God has taken away the pressure. He said, keep your mind stayed on me and I'll keep you in perfect peace. Go touch three people and say, don't you lose your mind. Grab your neighbor by the hand. I might as well. I say, neighbor, I, I'm going to keep my mind stayed on Jesus. And he will keep me in perfect peace. I got to close. But before I close, the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. Power, love and a sound mind stay sober keep your mind focus don't give up keep your mind 
focus. Don't throw in the towel. Keep your mind focus, and God will give you peace. Come here, Bible, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your heart and your mind. Crowd, somebody by the hand, preach with me and say, neighbor. Y'all ain't preaching like me. Grab your neighbor. Bar my preacher license. Say, neighbor. I'm going to keep my mind stayed on Jesus. And he will keep me in perfect peace. Peace that surpasses my understanding. That's why I can't lean to my own understanding. I got to see what God sees. If God says you're going through, but you're coming out, I got to see it. How God sees it. If God says you're grieving, but you're going to make it, I got to see it like God sees it. If God says this sickness shall not be unto death, I got to see it like God sees it and when I see it like God sees it no weapon I said no weapon no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper I don't feel like preaching why should I worry the Lord is my light my salvation who shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid y'all excuse me I don't feel like preaching why should I give up why should I throw in the towel why should I worry why should I complain why Grab your neighbor and say, why would you throw in the towel? Why would you complain? Jesus has your cover. Jesus has your back. I got to close. Well, go shut your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't you dare give up. I need y'all to do me a favor. Go touch three people and say, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't lose it. God's getting ready to keep your mind. He'll keep your mind if you stay focused. He'll keep your mind if you make a decision not to give up. I got to close. But a hymn dropped in my spirit. Why? Should I feel discouraged? Oh, why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and alone for my heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know, I know. I know if he's watching the sparrow, I know he's watching me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know. Go talk to somebody and say, I know he's watching me. I know he's got me covered. I know I can trust him. I know he'll be a mind regulator. I know he'll be a wheel in the middle of a wheel. I know he'll carry my burden. I know he'll share my load. I know. 
All right. Since you know that God's gonna keep your mind, since you know that God's got your cover, since you know that God's the only one that can fix it, praise God. Ain't no need to shout and worry. Ain't no need to dance and cry. Ain't no need to dance and complain. So praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Oh, shucks. Let everything that have breath I'll be your mouth. I said, I'll be your mouth and pride. I need you to prophesy to somebody. Go touch three people and say, he's going to keep your mind. 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 You're not going to crack under the pressure. He's going to keep your mind. If you need God to touch your mind one more time, you felt the pressure, you felt the load, but you need God to touch your mind one more time and give you more mental strength. Run to the altar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Don't come with pride, but come ready to cast all your cares upon the Lord. Cast all your cares upon the Lord. Leave it at the altar. I said, leave it at the altar. Leave it at the altar. Leave it at the altar. The devil is a lie. If you're going to give up, what's your mind? The devil is a lie. If you're going to throw in the towel, the devil is a lie. If you're going to crumble under the pressure, the pressure cannot handle the God that's on the inside of you. The devil is a hit. The devil is a lie. You're not going to give up. You're not going to throw in the towel. The devil is a lie. God is protecting your mind. In the name of Jesus, God is protecting your mind. You will not, woo, you will not faint. You will not give up. You will not quench. The devil is alive. No, 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 no. Stronger than you ever been before. Stronger than you ever been before. Stronger than you ever been before. God is protecting your mind. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Stronger than you ever been before. You will not crack under the pressure of this season. The devil is a lie. You shall win. You shall win. He's protecting your mind. I'm giving you strength. God says I'm giving you strength right now to fight through the troublesome times. In the name of Jesus. No, no, no. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. You've come too far to give up now. Don't 
don't you dare give up he's giving you power in the name of Jesus he's giving you power power I know you're a fixer but God says I'm the ultimate fixer leave it in my hands leave it in my hands leave it in my hands in the name of Jesus 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 hey glory don't you dare give up don't you dare give up glory 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 cast all your cares cast all your cares cast all your cares cast all your cares I know what you've been praying about but leave it to God leave it to God let him handle it let him fix it in the name of Jesus leave it to God leave it to God leave it to God yeah 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 he's drying up all of your late night tears leave it to God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus leave it to God leave it to God hey leave it to him yes 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 yep yep I see the light Woo. at the end of the tunnel things are getting ready to change for the better give it to God give it to God get it off your heart release the weights give it to God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus leave it to God too much purpose for you to give up too much riding on your calling leave it to God in the name of Jesus I speak strength to you now strength to you now in the name of Jesus open your mouth Zion Zion shout shout open your mouth you're free to holler you're free to give him praise you're free to bless him you don't have to stress on you no more it's over now I said it's over now it's over now it's over now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Strength to your mind. In the name of Jesus. Strength to your mind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God says, I'm gonna keep your hearts and keep your mind. You will not lose your mind. You will not lose your mind. You need your mind for the next season. You need your mind for the next level of ministry. You need your mind. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory. Lady Ray, come here. I know you just got here. I want you to lay hands, Lady Ashley. I speak over your mind in the name of Jesus yeah yeah I call you out of a season of stuck Woo. glory glory God is repositioning your thought life he's touching your mind now in the name of Jesus Everybody at the altar, holler, I shall win. I shall win. I shall win. Victory belongs to me. I said victory belongs to me. Victory belongs to me. The devil will not get the victory in your mind. Woo! I'm not gonna worry, I'm gonna praise him. I'm not gonna stress, I'm gonna dance anyway. I'm not gonna throw in the towel, I'm gonna keep going, keep pushing. And God's gonna give you strength for the journey. God's gonna give you strength for the next level. God's gonna give you strength. 
Open your mouth like never before. God says, I'll handle it. He says, thank you. I'll take it from here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Zion. Praise him. He says, I'll fix it from here. Don't worry about it no more. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. The devil will not control your mind. And those who keep their mind stayed on him. Come on, open your mouth. He'll keep you in perfect peace. I said he'll keep you in perfect peace. 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 If you try to get peace on your own, it won't be perfect. Perfect peace. Only God can do this. Only God can do this. Only God can do this. Thank you, God. As you go back to your seat, this is a different walk back. As you go back to your seat, you're leaving the stress on the altar. I dare you to metaphorically just throw it on the altar. Leave the stress here. Go back without it. Leave the worry here. Go back to your seat without it. Leave depression here. Go back without it. Do not take it back with you. Leave it here. Leave the grudge. Leave unforgiveness. Leave the malice. Leave the attitude. Leave the anger. Leave it here. The weight has lifted. I said the weight has lifted. The weight has lifted. This is a different praise. Open your mouth, Zion. This is a different praise. The weight has lifted. The stress is leaving. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Some of you, the enemy was talking to you while God was talking to you. You didn't know who was going to end up with the victory. But God says, I'm stronger than anything you ever face. I'm stronger than anything you ever deal with. I'm stronger. You can't do it in your own strength. God says, I'll handle it from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Hey! 
So God, we thank you. We thank you. Today, anxiety has been defeated. We thank you. Anxiety has lost its grip. We thank you. Worry is over. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Everything that's given you anxiety is something that you're carrying in error. You're trying to carry something that's meant for God to carry. God says, put my work down. Let me be God. Hallelujah. You have to let God be God. You can't praise him and do his job. You praise him and trust him to fix the situation. Father, in the name of Jesus. The mindset that we have been ushered into today allow us to remain in this mindset in the name of Jesus to release all of our cares upon you help us to be still and know Woo! that you are God help us to be still and know that you are God help us to put all of our problems in your hands we don't have to feel the pressure of trying to fix it we got to trust you so God give us the strength to trust person that was on the verge of giving up when they walked in these doors today they threw in the towel God throw the towel back give them another chance in the name of Jesus the person that was battling mentally stress frustration worry we rebuke it now God in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Thank you for strength and a new passion, resurgence of energy to go further from here in the name of Jesus. And help us to train our mind daily to trust you with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding. 